What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna to be doing a quick unboxing of the Navio 2 Autopilot for the Raspberry Pi. And also, I had already opened the package. Um, it came this morning from DHL all the way from China and I went to bed at about six o'clock in the morning last night. I was working with a different uh, microcontroller making something and you know, they called me twice and texted me, the driver text, uh, texted me personally. So I want to say thanks to DHL, like really going above and beyond to get this to me. Uh, I don't really expect that from any carrier, but it was really nice that, you know, I, I woke up to my phone ringing and then, you know, she was still outside and she had called me maybe like three or five minutes earlier. So definitely good, good, good on them. But anyway, um, I had opened this and this is called the power module and what this does is it allows you to connect a LiPo battery directly to the Navio board which will power both it and the Raspberry Pi and continue it to pass it through to the rest of your power distribution board or however your UAV is set up. So um, I had already taken that out of the package, it really wasn't that exciting, just a little you know, power module, exactly what it is called. but. The more fun thing here is the Navio 2 board. So it comes in a really simple package. Um, if you don't get an educational discount like I did, this will run you about $170. And the real killer on this is the shipping. Um, it was about $20 to get it to me within three to five weeks. And it was $40 to get it within three to five days. So I, I didn't really have much of a choice. I had to go for the faster shipping option for my school project, but yikes, definitely definitely breaks the, the bank a little bit. But anyway, moving on. So just a simple white box, um, and then we have a little, you know, uh, table of contents on the back. So the Navio 2, which comes with, of course, the Navio 2, spacers, screws, and then a 40 pin extension header. So, you know, without further ado, let's get it out of the box. And then inside, exactly like it said, we have our 40 pin header. So I'm just gonna take that and put that on my Raspberry Pi right now. And then this is a Raspberry Pi uh, 3 Model B, and we have a 32 gigabyte SanDisk Ultra Plus, I believe, which after doing some research, it actually maxes out the read-write speeds of the Raspberry Pi, at which are about 40 megabytes per second up and down, and this can do about 80, so we're not gonna have any bottleneck on that sort of uh, thing. But the real meat and potatoes of this unboxing, the Navio 2 flight controller board. So if we gently take this out, we see here that it's just a Raspberry Pi shield, but it has a lot of special functionality. It has a barometer, it has a multifunction LED, it's got a IMU, which is gyroscope, accelerometer, compass, GPS uh, hookup right here, which we have a GPS antenna already mounted on the the drone platform we're working on, so it will literally just pop right in. But then on the bottom here, we have some I.O. So we have a UART connector, an I squared C connector, an analog to digital inverter connector, and the power connector for that power module that I was mentioning before. So once you have your 40 pin header extension on, you quite literally just slot this down, although you could probably put your uh, spacers and your screws on, but I'm not going to do that right now. And there you would have it, a Raspberry Pi 3 using the Navio 2 board. And that's pretty much it for the unboxing. I'm going to have a lot of content on this, hopefully in the next week or so or two weeks. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.